Hi, this is Lee Giles, creator of the Easy Peasy All in One Homeschool. In this video, I want to talk about preschool and kindergarten curriculum. Getting ready one and getting ready two is what I call it. Because I'm not really trying to recreate preschool and kindergarten. Um, my main goal is getting them ready to use this curriculum. And the biggest part of that is getting them to be independent readers. So that's my focus in these two levels. And they um, are basically, um, at our first level, they're reading novels. So, you know, if they're able to, when you get to, when you get finished with our, you know, with these levels, um, with the reading curriculum in those two levels, um, you will have an independent reader. Okay, so let's just start with getting ready one. So this is, you know, unofficially our preschool level. It's basically what it is. Um, so there's things in the beginning here. This basically talks about what I just said. Um, you can read my learn to read philosophy here. Um, I have them start with sight reading to get them reading more quickly. Um, and then go to phonics after that. If your child is struggling uh, with sight words, then you can move on, you know, skip ahead to the phonics and get it ready too, and then come back. You can do it in the opposite order if that is what works best for your child. So getting ready one is all about learning the alphabet. So they're not just recognizing letters, they're learning the phonetic sounds of those letters. So this is the beginning of, you know, this is a form of phonics right here, but it's just the individual letter sounds not putting them together yet. So this is useful for, they do this before the sight reading. They need to be able to recognize letters before they can recognize words. Um, and also, you know, if you're stuck on a word, you know, cat, okay, you can say, well, what's that first letter? What sound does that make? And that can jog their memory as to what the word is. So this is the, the foundation, which I'm sure everyone would <laughs> agree with, that we need to learn the alphabet. So we have the alphabet song, and then they're going to learn about the letter A. They're going to play a lot of games. This uses Starfall, um, which all their alphabet stuff is free on the computer. Um, if you are going to use a mobile device um, for some of our things that we use and just in easy peasy in general, some of them are free on the computer and that's why I link to them. But then I later you know, realized that they charge for the app version of it. So you'll just have to decide for your family what you want to do. Um, but there's not a ton of that. But Starfall is one for this level. So look at the letter A. So oops, you know, just pictures of all these different forms of the letter. Just things like that. So there's a workbook for this level. Boys and girls. There's no you know special thing about boys and girls. I will explain why this happened, okay? I have I had a daughter and then I had five boys. Okay, so by the time I was making this, I was only teaching boys how to read, and in the future I was only going to be teaching boys how to read. And I created all these animal stories that introduced the letter sounds, and I used all boy names. Okay, so when I went to share this with the world, I was attached to the boy names, and I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to give them up. So I made a girl version of it. Okay, there's nothing like, you know, whatever about this. That's just how it happened. And I regret it now because it's twice the work for me doing two things. Um, yeah, I should have just given up some of the names. But you get attached to the characters. I got attached to the characters. I don't know if you'll feel that way by the end of the curriculum. So here we go. So we're being about Abraham the alligator or April the alligator. Okay, so these are little stories. It used to be, these were originally um, these PowerPoints that I got online and the kids could click on them to turn the page and stuff and to click on that little bell to hear it, hear the words. Um, and then with all the updates to browsers and stuff, those don't work anymore. So now they're YouTube videos. So it's not quite as engaging because I don't get to click on it. But it, it tells the story about Abraham or April and um, it introduces the sound ah through a story. Okay, so Abraham and April, they're scaredy cats. They get scared really easily. And so they say, ah, okay, so there's like a little story to introduce the sound. Um, and my kids love saying, ah, for Abraham the alligator. Okay, so the whole first week, so there's a little craft. I consider all crafts optional. I, I'm not a crafty person. I don't like doing crafts. But 
Um, I know a lot of people like to do crafts with their little kids, and of course kids like to do crafts. So they are available, simple things like this, okay? There's not, I don't do complicated stuff. So, you know, here's an apple to cut and paste. So it's things like this. So here's my son with the upside down feet and, you know, you know crazy put together. Let them do it their own way, you know, it doesn't have to look perfect. Um, that's not the point. Okay, so here we there's a learn about the letter A. This is probably a video. Okay, so things like that um, that they'll be doing. So days one through five. So that's the letter A. So read some books together, hunt in your books for letter A. <coughs> Excuse me, so activities like that. And then you're just going to do it again. Okay, so we have letter B. We introduce two new characters. A little craft. So it kind of tells you here's a toilet paper roll craft and here's a paper craft. So you know, you can pick what kind of thing you want to do. All right, color pages if you want them. That's all extra. So you know, when this is your oldest child, you have time to do all these things, right? You're giving them all of your attention, basically. And so you sit down together and you do coloring pages and crafts and things. Um, and I, you know, but after a while, there's lots of other stuff going around. And <laughs> maybe it's just me, but I definitely don't do that kind of stuff um, as much with my little kids as I do with my older kids. Um, but, you know, sometimes the older kids are the ones who take that on with the younger kids. So maybe you have an older kid who likes doing that kind of stuff. Who you can assign that kind of activity to. So, you know, paper bag or paper. Okay, so we just go on. So we do A, B, and C, and we get to the end of that. There's a little puzzle here. And now we're going to do a review week. So there's a little bit of different stuff going on here. The color blue. We're learning about circles. We're going to color the circles blue. And then there's a story that involves all three characters. So throughout the year, like a story builds of um, all these characters, um, you know, interacting together. They interact together and things. Um, these are each done every three weeks. So there's three stories and then the three of them together. I combine them all into one big story called Harold's Lonely, Lonely Day, which isn't part of this curriculum. Um, I don't think, maybe I have it linked at the very end. Um, but it's like a little, I just put it together as a little book. Um, just putting all these stories. It's a different story. Um, but it puts all, the whole alphabet together into one story with all the sounds. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, this is review week. So, we have letter A. We have a bear craft. Letter B. A, B, C. Reviewing letter C. Okay, so that's the end of our review week. So, and they learned about circles that week, the color blue. So then we start letter D. So it's just going to just repeat for the whole, the whole year. You get it, right? And the end of the year, they'll work on the whole alphabet together. So then when that's done, that is 171 days. So, you know, almost in every other page, you're going to find days 1 to 180 on a page. This didn't quite make it there. Then you move on to this page, the McGuffey Primer page. I just pulled it out. This is a continuation of Getting Ready 1. Um, goes up to day 222, is that right? Um, and this is the sight reading with the McGuffey Primer, where you look at the words. I'm trying to get this available as an app where all the lessons would be you know, downloaded and you could use it offline. All the lessons and the stories to read would be built right in. Um, and you can also have it read the stories to you. Anyway, you look at the words, and then you click on it, and it reads the word to you. And you can't hear that right now, but it reads you the word. And then, um, you know, as you're learning them, you can see it and say, wait, that says rat, and say it, and then click to see if you're correct um, to practice your words that way. And so I suggest doing this like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then reading the story. So you don't just look at the words one time, you look at it a few times. And when you have the words, you can click on the check mark, which will come up automatically once you've looked at the words a certain number of times based on how long the reading list is. Um, and then there it is. So I programmed this myself. <laughs> so I'm very proud of this. Um, it shows you with the capital letters. Um, and then I explain the words to the kids, I use them in a sentence just to make sure they're understanding the words and you know thinking about the right word 
even if they're saying the right word, like no, you know, homophones, um, to make sure they know what they're reading. And then, so you're going to look at the words three times. They're not supposed to do that all at once, like I suggest breakfast, lunch, dinner, just to anchor it in your day. And then they'll click here and they'll read their lesson. So that's what this whole thing is, just every day doing the next lesson in the McGuffey primer. And then there's, you know, counting songs, counting games, just little making music games. That's why I have this on the Learn to Read page as well, separated, so that an older kid who needs to work on these words doesn't have the preschool, you know, shapes and colors and things. So then we move on to getting ready to. Um, so you can get a book. There's Learn to Read has the sight words in it and the McGuffey primer in it and the phonics in it. Okay, so the McGuffey first reader and the phonics are on the Getting Ready To page. So you can get that all as a book. Um, I have another curriculum called Genesis Curriculum with um, a book called First Step, which is very similar to Getting Ready One. Okay, so if you really want to do that offline, um, that's there. But I really enjoy all this you know, alphabet videos and um, the crafts and the little games and stuff that can be found online. But that's available. Okay, so here they're just jumping right into reading the McGuffey First Reader. It starts really simple and then builds. And then the second half of the year, so that's you know basically what they're doing. They're also going to be doing, um, they start handwriting. So, you know, it says write upper case T. So they have like you know little videos like this to demonstrate for them, and they have handwriting pages. So they're going to be introduced to handwriting that way. Um, in the McGuffey and in, in the getting ready one. There's a little bit of like readiness with like just drawing lines and things like that. Um, so it's handwriting and then math. Here we are, we're practicing our counting to 10. We'll count up to 20 this year. So we'll start writing words. Okay, they're working on counting. And then they just keep working through the primer. Not the primer, excuse me, the first reader. We scroll down to day 60, we get to the phonics. So if your child is stuck on sight reading, um, you may need to jump ahead to the phonics and then go back to the sight reading. Uh, if that's what works for your child, then you know please don't feel like you have to do the set method because every, <laughs> every child's different. So this starts with, um, the phonics lessons start with just, you know, they already know the alphabet sounds, but putting those the constants together with the vowels, and then slowly building from two letters to three letters to four letters, the different blends and things like that. Oh, so we're counting to 100, excuse me. So here we are counting to 50, calendar, you know, write the date on the calendar, 100th day of school activity. So, months of the year, days of the week, things like that for math. Um, but again, that's not the main focus here, okay? So here for like handwriting, writing, write five words from your phonics lesson. So, you know, your phonics lesson, everything is one type of word, okay? So they're going to be practicing that when they're writing, they'll be practicing, you know, a certain thing. Okay, that was a review day, so it wasn't the best choice. Here's a, the next lesson. So ing. So when they're writing, when it tells them to write from their phonics lesson, you know, it's a spelling lesson because they're practicing all the same type of phonics. Um, so that's ing, ung. There's different blends, and it goes all the way. So this one goes to 180. So here we are writing numbers up to 100, connecting dots to 100. They'll write the numbers as words as well. So at the end of the year here, they're reading stories. 